gentlemen. Bungle, hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a great day. Today, we are going over Enlist at the World 2 Free to Play first person shooter, much requested. Must talk about, hey Bungle, talk about the ME410 A1U2, the level 34 attacker they can get in the Invasion of Normandy campaign for the Axis. Now, if you're watching this video, first time viewer, possibly first time subscriber, you may be wondering, Bungle, what do we do here? Well, I give you an overview, kind of telling you what are we reviewing. Next, I talk about the performance. Is it good? Is it bad? And lastly, is it worth it? So without further ado, let's begin. Start off with an overview. All right, so this is a level 34 attacker that you can equip in the GU-188 slot. So keep in mind, if you want to take this aircraft out, which personally I don't recommend, you're going to be replacing the GU-188. Now moving down to the performance, what does this bring to the table that does differently than the GU-188? Well, pretty much you get four times 20 millimeter MG-151 cannons and then you have two times 7.92 millimeter mg 17 machine guns also for secondary armament you get four times wfr.gr21 rockets and for my german viewers you can correct me i do not speak german i am not good at it but pretty much this is what it brings to the table compared to the gu 188 which brings in i think like six times 250 kilogram bombs so what is the trade-off here moving down to, is it worth it? Now I'm going to be pretty much honest and say, no, I don't recommend this at all because in my opinion, this plays exactly like the BF-110 that you unlock way earlier in the campaign level. My opinion, I don't even know why they added this because the problem is, is that sure, 20 millimeter machine guns, sure, the four times WFR GR-21 rockets, yes, they're great at taking out infantry. You can just strafe infantry with it, machine gun it, rocket them, you'll, you'll get a bunch of kills, sure. But when it comes to taking out jumbos, taking out even a steward, these rockets can't penetrate a steward and take it out. Like, it doesn't work. And the GU-188, I mean, sure, sometimes when you're trying to bomb a jumbo, you will take the jumbo out. You know, you may not take out a whole bunch of infantry, but you will take the jumbo out or take out a tank that's terrorizing your team, which is pretty much the point of having an aircraft, especially an attacker, is to deal with those tanks that you really can't really deal with. And this aircraft doesn't really do anything different than the BF-110, and you're basically giving up the GU-188 for a for a plane, in my opinion, that's subpar, does everything that a BF-110 would. Honestly, you should just take out the BF-110 if you really like it that much, and take out the GU-188. GU-188 can go bomb a bunch of tanks and everything like that, whereas the BF-110 can go and strafe and attack infantry. Really, this aircraft doesn't really do anything amazing. It really doesn't... It's not worth the trade, in my opinion, especially with these rockets. If the rockets can't penetrate a Stewart, then I'm not taking it out. I'm going to stick with my GU-188 because the 250 kilogram bombs have been shown to be very reliable when it comes to taking out tanks, as well as dealing with a mass horde of infantry in the open. Sure, I will say the rockets are probably better at taking out infantry than the GU-188 is. When it comes to dealing with vehicles, though, no, this thing does not do anything at all, and I really don't recommend picking this up and putting it in your slot. Now, you may be wondering, okay, Bungle, but I can go dogfight with this. I got the 4 times 20 millimeter cannons, you know, all this stuff. Like, yeah, sure, but there's already an aircraft that does it even better, the Falkwolf 190, which I would just take out the Falkwolf if you want to dogfight and kind of deal with a little, you know, attack and infantry and stuff, because the Falkwolf, in my opinion, does everything this aircraft can do, but it kind of counts as, like, kind of a fighter, right? Whereas this, trying to replace a GU-188 and fails miserably at it. So I don't recommend slotting this in. If you're looking at grinding, you're thinking this thing's going to be better than, let's say, a BF-110. Hate to say it to you, but the BF-110 does the same exact thing. In my opinion, I can't really say which one's better. Maybe this is slightly better because it's more maneuverable and a little quicker. But you're not going to be winning a dogfight against a P-51. Even a P-47 is kind of in the air with that. So... Don't recommend picking this up and switching to GU-188. I think the GU-188 is a great bomber, probably one of the best bombers in the game, and I would just stick with that. Other than that, for each point of the video, new viewer, possibly new subscriber, well, I hope today is the day that I earned your subscription. Having your sub and mass that like button does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Returning sub, returning viewer, let me know your thoughts. Are you going to take out the GU-188 and replace it with the ME-410, even though this aircraft does the same thing as the BF-110? Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.